Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Chauvin. I'm here to share with you the parasympathetic exercises that get you out of fight flight into a brain balance situation. These exercises are not hard to do. It's just that most people are not used to using the parasympathetic part of their nervous system. So for the first time you do it, it's going to seem like, wow, it's a lot of stuff to remember to do this all at one time. But it's really not difficult once you've gotten it down. You have to do four things. You have to disengage the sympathetic, which is what we use the blocks for under the feet. You have to get your voice activated nerve stimulation to the vagus nerve, which is nyunk, 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 and la, la, la. And you have to do the Kegel exercises, which is contracting the pelvic muscles like you're stopping urine flow. Uh, that and the posture of parasympathetic. Once you do these all together, it puts you into a parasympathetic state, which allows my patients to get well and stay well and continue to improve as things go on. We are gonna show you standing exercises first, and then for people who have had strokes and they can't stand due to falling or whatever, we're gonna do it sitting as well. So no matter where you are health-wise, you will be able to do these exercises and not only present, prevent yourself from having a heart attack or a stroke, but also helping you after you've had a heart attack and a stroke. So with this in mind, I wanna tell you that this is my passion. I've been doing this for years, trying to come up with this, and I love the simplicity of what we're getting ready to show you. The video of the exercises you just saw, I'm excited about getting this out to the rest of the world so that you can see and do these exercises that keep you in brain balance and keep you functioning. Your heart, your stomach, and your brain all coordinating together.